Brakti Hawa, Brakata, Yahawasha, Brakti Hawa, Brakata, Yahawasha, Bashem, Rakakwadash, the honor to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth. And in sincerity, this lesson will be entitled To Stand Guard. Lord will, you are edified. My source, Natural News, article entitled In 13 Months, Biden Has Just about finish the job of destroying America. It has not taken long at all for fake President Joe Biden to finish the job of collapsing the U.S. In just 13 relatively short months, the resident in chief helped usher in the highest gas prices on record along with soaring food costs. Millions of Americans were also forced to get fill in the blank from fill in the blank and all for a manufactured fill in the blank that never really was. The country went from a trend towards energy independence to becoming a net importer of crude oil ever since Geriatric Joe started occupying the White House. Biden's destruction of the Keystone XL pipeline project certainly distribute to this. Americans are worse off than they have been for quite some time as housing prices skyrocket and wages stagnate. Millions of them are now having to work multiple jobs just to barely stay above the poverty line. It is simply becoming impossible to live in the U.S. And while China, Joe, is not solely responsible for this, nearly every president, left and right, has contributed in one way or another throughout the nation's history. He sure did accelerate the process. Five percent here, ten there, multiple small price spikes, so it isn't all seen at once, writes Susan Douglas for All News Pipeline about the current Inflationary, so like an inflationary situation, shrinkflation, where the packages are smaller, but the price either the same or just a tad more. It is noticeable, but the way it is happening means some are feeling it far more than others for now. Putin is the scapegoat for the common implosion of the global economy. The Biden regime claims that all of this is not a mere Putin's fault, but smart Americans know better. The real culprit is right here within our midst. It is the money changers that engineered this increasingly rapid slide into total economic collapse. They are the ones who designed this system to fail at the designated time after they got done raping and pillaging it of all it is worth. Biden is just another puppet who stands or mostly sits reading teleprompters, teleprompters with the latest fake news words scrolling across it. His job is to just repeat what he sees on the screen, and even that often proves too difficult for his failing senses. And if I can add, there's nothing wrong with Biden's intelligence. He's not demented. Okay, this is part of his character. There's no way on earth that the elite bankers would put a person such as Joe Biden, who is diagnosed with dementia, or oncoming stages of dementia, dementia to run this corporation, which is America, okay? If you are demented, you can't remember shit, okay? You can't remember the script, and therefore, you are a live wire, okay? 
you go in and out of reality at any given time. So he wouldn't be an asset. He would be a liability. All right. Remember, the elite controls everything through the power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. What we are witnessing on CNN, okay, Fox, NBC, and etc. is scripted reality. You must question everything you see in the media because it's all fake. All right. But the point is that Joe Biden is president and therefore, all right, his job is to do the bidding for the elite bankers. Joe goes into the term Joseph. All right. And in the Hebrew, that's Yawasab, which means to add. Okay, so what does Biden mean? Bide. Biden goes into bide, which means what? To stay, continue, live, remain, to trust, rely. So when you put uh, Joseph Biden together, it means to add continual, to add continuing, or to add continually. So like it, to add continually, meaning what? His job is to contribute, all right, to the new world order. President goes into the term Preside, okay, according to the Etiman, president goes into the origin of to preside, which means what? To stand guard. And he's standing guard for the elite bankers, okay? All of this is manipulated by the elite bankers, okay? There's no such thing as Democrats and Republicans, all right? It's nothing but a game being played out on this world stage. Revelation 13 and 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. That another beast is referring to modern day America. And he had two horns like a lamb. The two horns are a representation for the Democratic Party and the Republican Party. All right. Now, a lamb supposed to be what? Meek. All right. And he spoke as a dragon. So these parties, they appear like they want to help the Americans to profit, to benefit within the society. But at the end of the day, all right, their legislation is all about oppressing the American people within the system. And it's broken down into the haves and the have-nots. But the main goal, the main goal for this system is to oppress the Israelites, so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans based on the lineage of our fathers and not how we look in the flesh. It's all about our lineage, all right? So, and he had two horns like a lamb. So both parties make it seem like that they're trying to benefit all Americans. But at the same time frame, they are doing the bidding for the elite bankers. Case in point, their legislation, which is harsh and draconian. And draconian means what harsh? Now remember, President, whether 
Democratic or Republican, goes into preside to stand guard. Again, all these presidents, okay, done or did or will do the bidding for the elite bankers until Yahawashai destroys the system. And if you go against the grain, you are assassinated. This clip I'm about to play comes from The Independent, okay? And also their YouTube. This clip is being used for fair use purpose only. The liberal world order, and that hadn't happened in a long while. A lot of people dying, but nowhere near the chaos. And now is a time when things are shifting. We're gonna, there's gonna be a new world order out there. And we've gotta lead it. And we've gotta unite the rest of the free world in doing it. So anyway. You heard what he said. Yes. And now is a time when things are shifting. We're gonna, there's gonna be a new world order out there. And we've got- A new world order. This is what they're doing. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice, you heavens, all right, going into the spiritual realm, all right? And we have the same mindset. Why? Because of the Holy Spirit. And we know each day brings us closer to the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. And you that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth, and this is literal, and of the sea, for the devil, all right, in the form of the nobility of Edom, has come down unto you having great wrath because he know that he has but a short time, a short time to do what? Job 5 and 12, he disappoint the devices of the crafty. All right. He is referring to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. The vices of the crafty. One device is spoken of in Revelation, the 13th chapter. And also, what we have been witnessing the past two years, the CR, all right? So that their hands, meaning might, cannot perform their enterprise. Enterprise, meaning what their success in Hebrew, going into what the new world order, okay? Second Corinthians 4 and 3. But if our gospel be hid, gospel means what? This good news. Going into the form of this truth. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Referring to the two-thirds located in America and the non-elect, referring to Israelites around the four corners of the world and whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel of Mashiach, who is the image of the Most High, shall shine unto them, right? And who controls everything? The nobility of Edom, their so-called gods of this world. And that power was given to them by Yahweh through his son, Yahweh Shah. Going into what? A kingdom, a dominion, a time to rule. And the ultimate end goal is what? The new world order. Where the Israelites are eradicated from earth. Why? Because they want that birthright back. But they don't understand what? That it was set in the spirit for us to receive the birthright. And to attain the kingdom of heaven. And that, and that is no reversal, okay?
Romans 13 and 1, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. The higher powers or judges or so-called gods of this world is the nobility of Edom, who are Edomites. Based on the lineage of their fathers, they control this system. For there is no power but of the Most High, meaning what? They would not be established unless it was within the will of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. The powers that be are ordained, meaning established, of the Most High. Ecclesiastes 10 and 8, because of unrighteous dealings, such as this kingdom, injuries within this kingdom, and riches got by deceit within this kingdom, the kingdom, all right, going into rulership, dominion, a blessing, is translated from one people, the Edomites, to another, the Israelites, beginning with Yahweh and the 144,000. There's nothing wrong with Joe Biden, okay? He's not demented. He's playing a game, all right? And if you don't believe me, this was prophesied in the movie Hot Shots, okay? When they made it seem like the president was just dumb and stupid, all right? This was the prophecy of Joe Biden that we're seeing today. He's nothing but a character playing a demented character who is assisting, okay, the world into the format of the new world order. Remember, Joe means what? To add Biden, continue, to add continual, to add continue, okay, or to add continually. President preside to stand guard of or to stand guard for. He is employed by the elite. Nothing is new under the sun, and the Most High controls all of this. Lord will, you're out of Shalom.